much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It has been a remarkable first season in the studio for me. I want to thank you guys so much. As I send it over one final time for the second half call of Super Bowl 53 to Brandon and Charles in Atlanta. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The halftime show, quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. Field it about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half, other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run, these things work well for us, but sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They fake the handoff. Now then, looking deep. Yeah. Heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone center. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real done for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. McCown's throw there incomplete. On second down, here's McCown. Being chased out left. It's caught by Clyde Walker. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. On any given pass, but you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. McCown now on first down. That is brought down. Around more yards that go around, a first down as well. <laughs> Into the red zone now, it's McCown. And it's to get him down, but he does reach the five. 12 more yards there and another first down. <laughs> Throwing now is McCown. Four yards on the pickup, and now it's second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation, because second down, that gives me an option for a play action. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet Football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Now they'll throw with McCown. Steps with Step. a touchdown for the Jets. Josh McCown with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. Yeah, he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now the town's going to bring up the Jets here to go for two. McCown, it bites him off. And he was able to get the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. When it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I 
these stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Now out come the Giants. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. <laughs> for a guy who once moved out is huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? Is way to Who cares? They got out here. And they'll do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. <laughs> Manning again here on second and ten. Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Shotgun now for Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Josh McCown of the Jet offense heading back out there. And a big reason why they've been so successful. This defense hasn't been able to contain it when he gets outside of the pocket. It's so true. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. <laughs> Look, I'm going to throw it here. And Anderson's got it. Shit! Yeah. The right hand touchdown. The catch is football. Robbie Anderson, his second touchdown in the Super Bowl. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Well, this is a classic time in a game where an offense continues to roll, and many people are saying, why? In this case, they're just telling the defense, you don't want us to score? Stop us. Santos now to add the PAT. <laughs> Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass, and that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do and the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I'll get confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. <laughs> back to the air on second down. It's Madden. And his throw is incomplete. The pro bowler Odell back of the intended receiver. Third down here. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. And that's complete to Lewis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. 
And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone, sometimes you're throwing it between the zones, sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback. And now the ball comes out, Benning lost it. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. So they have the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Now Manning. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. That catch good for only a yard and it'll be third down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. <laughs> On third and long, it's Manning. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Tremaine Johnson that time there to force the incompletion. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of the best playmakers. No matter what he says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him with the ball. And they hit him as he closes. This one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jets are going to get the football back. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> Now he'll let it go on the run, deep left side, and it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. And the New York Jets have won the Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy will be in the Big Apple. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three... All building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion, it's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way. Didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Just how everybody wants to end the year. Only the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.